Hey guys, it's Sam, and I am not sure how to start this. It's day one of social distancing slash quarantine. I work in a public school yesterday, March 15th. Today is obviously Monday, March 16th, and they made the the decision to close the schools. I don't think it was an easy decision to make. I think that's why it took so long, and I think it was the right decision to make. Um, it was a lot of worry for me. Do I, if they didn't close the schools, do I come in? Do I not come in? I live with someone who's in a high risk group. My grandmother, she's 88. She has lots of medical conditions and I'm glad that decision was made. Uh, now that part of the anxiety is over, but now I'm worried about the future. The uncertainty is what makes me nervous and hopefully by us staying home it will flatten the curve a little bit because someone you know will get it it's inevitable and um hopefully we're doing our part to f decrease the spread of this virus i did not panic by um but i did make sure that my fridge was full my freezer there was um, the toilet paper thing, I always have a lot of toilet paper because my house, we go through it like water for some reason. My grandmother, she uses a lot of it, so I always have that on hand. And cleaning supplies, we we have plenty of that. The only thing that we don't have is hand sanitizer, but that's not something that I'm going crazy over because it doesn't really kill the virus. So, I mean... It, it's better than nothing, but really soap and water are the key. And we have plenty of soap. So um, if you're panic buying, please don't just get what you need and leave some for people who, um, for other people who need it. I, you guys all know this, right? I know you do. Um, so what am I going to do during the quarantine? I don't know. I do plan on staying home for most of it. And... I have stuff to do around the house. I still have things in the basement. So I'm going to be trying to clear that out. I have a lot of time. And I want to do a deep cleaning of the house. Um, yeah, so... Oh, another thing is the pantry. I have always had the pantry stock. So we've had, we always have that kind of stuff like pasta and canned goods. Um, so I didn't get any of that stuff. Uh, when I did go to the grocery store, um, I couldn't... You see it like on Instagram posts and things and on the news, but things were really cleared out. And um, I went a couple of times this weekend and stores recently started like putting caps on things because people would get like 10 of each. Um, so the limit I saw was a lot of like um, limit of two um, on most things. But you will, you, you will find the stuff that you need it just might take more than one trip and at different times of the day and um try your asian supermarket i went to one we went to one and um they had a lot of stuff so anyway i just wanted to check in with you i don't know if i'm gonna vlog every day during this quarantine but i will try to check in at least once and yeah i hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you sometime during this quarantine. Hey guys, so um, still Monday. I am doing the garbage. So today is our normal garbage plus recycling. Oh, would you like to see me? And I'm doing laundry. So kind of like a typical day. That's what I would be doing in the afternoon on a Monday when I come home, when I come home from work. Although after I do this garbage or set it up, um, I'm going to do some work on the computer, uh, related to school, but not that much. I just want to share some links with my coworkers and yada, yada. Coming to you with an outfit change. I change into another pair of PJs because that is the mood that this, the next few weeks are going to be. Although I'm thinking to myself, I should probably really put on clothes just so I could really feel like the day... To get the day started and not stay in bed because that's what i want to do um i came back on here because i figured you're gonna see it throughout this video and i just quickly mentioned it now i might even do another video on this um but i did get a tattoo 
I did, I had scheduled this before the closing when things were like a little bit uncertain. Like, and I even up until the appointment, I was like, oh, I wonder if she's gonna cancel. But she, the person that I went to has her own studio and it was just me and her and my boyfriend uh, in the room and I felt safe and everything was clean. So I'm so glad that I got it. And this is only day two of having, it's my very first tattoo. Um, so I'm going to turn this around so I can show you. Hopefully you can. There it goes. So that is what I got. And I'm really happy with it. Again, it's only the second day or one and a half days, really. Actually, this is, I got the tattoo yesterday at 5 p.m. And it's not even 5 now. Um, so day one. <laughs> um. I want I wanted to get something that was super clean and simple and this does have some meaning to it um, I'll get into that if I do another video on it uh, yeah so you'll probably be seeing that a lot throughout this video hi guys it's day two and I'm about to have a staff meeting on the computer and that's how we've been communicating so far with the school and um, so happy St. Patrick's Day as well. We are going to have corned beef and cabbage. So hopefully that turns out all right. And I'll show you that later. I wanted to update you a little bit. My I had two back-to-back -back meetings starting at 1.30. Uh, 1.30 to 2, 3 o'clock maybe even. Uh, we had a whole staff meeting of those who could join us. And there was a lot of people in the meeting. And I think technology is just so amazing in that way. Um, that we're still able to have meetings um, even though we are at home or whatever we're doing and then the next meeting was with my grade so pre-k and just thinking about what we are going to how to move forward and i just have to remember that this is new for us too and um not to get too overwhelmed which is hard to do right in this kind of climate uh, also, I'm working on my planner stuff, so there's a lot of things that I am worried about in terms of my grandmother. She, you know, she gets her hair done weekly. Uh, we're putting that on the back burner as well as church. I just feel with her medical conditions and um, her age that she just needs to stay put. Um, unfortunately, while most of us, uh, like my sister, me, we're able to work from home, my sister's boyfriend who's with us right now, uh, but Steve, he still has to work, which is really um, a shame. He's not, uh, he works in the medical field, but it's what he does is more of like, I feel like an elective thing. Um, so uh, hopefully they'll reduce the hours at least because... I don't know I don't think it's fair to him or to us or to like other families that he's coming in contact with people lots of people and um, I think I don't think it's absolutely necessary so anyway sorry about that um, and so my doc my my grandmother has a few doctor's appointments in April and I'm just gonna take it day by day week by week things change you hear news changing like constantly uh, closings and stuff and will me and my aunt who work together to provide um, I mean to schedule my grandmother's doctor's appointments and take her places uh, we work on that together and she's she, she just suggested to wait next week um, just to see how things play out they might close the doctor's offices uh, we'll see and then schedule it for like another time and maybe a couple months June I'm thinking um, I had the dentist this Saturday. They called to confirm. I was actually going to call them to see if they were still open. I'm still debating. I said I was going, but I'm still debating just because it's a small office and there's people coming in and out. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how comfortable I am with going in. And I definitely don't want to like get something while I'm out there and I bring it back home. Um, but yeah, that is what I am working on and I hope you guys are all saying, staying safe and healthy. Um, crazy times, right? Hey, so it is day three, March 
March 18th, Wednesday, and I'm about to have another, uh, it's a meeting, but it's going to just be uh, with pre-K. And yesterday we had the two meetings back to back, the big one with everybody and nobody saw my face, but I, in the smaller meetings, it's a little bit different um, since it's, it's a smaller group. We all, I feel like it's kind of, there's a need to see each other. Um, not that I need to wear makeup, but I'm going to, I've got the top part of me dressed and I am going to put on just a little bit of makeup because as you can tell, hi friend, and, um, just a little bit of normalcy, I guess, normalcy in this whole kind of, it's a weird situation to be in. I'm glad to be able to stay home, um, but... Another reason I'm saying the date at the beginning, well, so that you know what day it is, but also it's just, there's a tendency to forget what day it is, or it feels kind of like a Saturday every day. Um, and it's been hard to get up and like wanted to wash my teeth and brush my teeth and put on some normal clothes because I haven't since this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put, uh, I took my school makeup bag out and I'm just going to be putting on some makeup and yeah, that's what's happening um, right at the moment. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, not sure what else I'm going to be doing today. Oh, I got to take out ground turkey. Okay. Good chatting with you guys. My sister's boyfriend, she uh, came to pick him up and she dropped this off for us. Look! They look so good. Just checked my email and on top of the great team meeting that we're having at 2, later on this evening, uh, we're going to have PD. And the first one will be at 6 and that's Google Sites. And then the next one will be after that at 7, Google Classroom. And while... Personally, myself, I might not use it because I am just a para. It's nice to have this skill, and I'm glad that they're offering it and putting it together so fast. Um, I mean, by next Monday, we're supposed to be doing a lot of the stuff online, and uh, it's a little bit different for pre-K because we don't have such a regimented schedule. Uh, my teacher, she already posted um, a video of a song that she sings a lot, and I thought that was so cute. We already had parents responding back with videos of their kids either doing the dance or saying something, so um, we're trying to get through it, you know? And here is Nana's lunch. I'm going to be bringing that to her, and then my meetings already started, so I'm a minute late. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It is day four. Um... March 19th, Thursday, and I am making waffles. I don't know why, because I'm like, you know what? We haven't had those in a while, and they're really more for my grandmother, and I didn't measure right, so I don't know if it's gonna work out. It's steaming like it's supposed to. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys could see. There's my waffle maker. It's a bajillion years old, but I love it. See, so. I gotta keep that down. I've opened that a few times to check on it. So there it goes. Um, and my stepdad is has symptoms of it. Uh, we haven't been in close contact in a long time. Uh, although Steve went to help him move something, and hopefully he'll get better. Um, and these are his favorites. So if I have the ingredients, I didn't even check. I will be making those. And there's a meeting later on today, but the morning is full. Um, this is probably the earliest I've actually woken up. It's like 10. Okay, lie. 10.30. What can I say? I like to sleep in. Hey, so I've just been thinking about a bunch of things, and I thought I would come on here and film. In regards to this video uh, series, whatever you want to call it, I think I'm going to do a weekly or every two week upload just so that by the end of this we won't have like a hundred hour video of just me rambling which it's going to be already but let's try to shorten it and I thought let's do a weekly uh upload schedule I'll try to and we don't know when the end date of 
staying inside, staying home is. We have New York City schools have a tentative date to go back April 20th, but that could change at any moment. It could be even till the end of the school year, which is like, to me. Uh, but I just, you know, for a lot of people are talking about like their time in quarantine. For me, nothing much has changed. I mean, so much has changed, right? But I don't go out during the work week, so that really hasn't changed. I think what's going to be a kind of like a test for me is the weekend because I do like to get out of the house, go shopping, um, go out to eat. So I think that's where we're going to see kind of like, oh, wow, we're really, things are different. Uh, but I just wanted to also, the little reminders to tell me that things are still somewhat kind of normal, like getting the newspaper and the mail delivered still. My grandmother is receiving her meals on wheels, which I think is just, I'm so thankful for all these humans that are still out there um, just doing what they can for us. And that includes, but not limited to, healthcare workers, garbage men, etc. The list goes on and on. Grocery store clerks and just all those poor people at the grocery store, the ones that work there. And um, that gives me kind of a sense of normalcy in all of this, although it is not normal at all. And um, yeah, that's uh, just where my mind is. And also, there's a like I know. There's so much I could be doing at home. Like, I really do want to deep clean the entire house. And then in my mind, I'm like, why don't I just wait for it to be over? But that's just silly because it could be months. And so I want to, like, have a day. Because I think that doing it all, all in one day just makes me, like... Although I want to do it all in one day. I think for me, I have to do it in parts. So, like, one day I'll do the bathroom. One day I'll do the kitchen, the living room, etc. And the basement, still a hot mess from... Now that we're going to be in August, it's going to be two years since we've moved in here, right? I just need to get my butt in gear. Although I've given myself permission this week to just kind of get into a schedule and not worry about having to do house stuff yet or like, you know, get really, really productive. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, and I have the luxury and the privilege of it's I'm, you know it's me um and my grandmother and my sister and my boyfriend we're all grown I don't have children Ava kind of take care, care of herself so that's my dog and so I don't even have that much to worry about I feel like but I'm giving myself the week just to kind of get myself ready Hi friends, just checking in. Today is day five of social distancing. School is being closed. It is March 20th, Friday. Happy Friday to you. And what have I done so far? I've had a couple of meetings. I recorded some read alouds. Uh, I'm trying, I'm gonna re record a lot of me reading books just so that we have it ready we don't know how long again how this is going to go for they say april 20th might go back but everything that you we've been hearing and reading is indicating a later start date if we start at all so got me going back to school and i made lentil soup i don't think i showed you the oatmeal cookies from yesterday oh well i heard they were good i got some positive feedback Okay, so it's 7.42 and I totally forgot to film Formal Friday. We look good though, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that picture. That was fun. Hence the lipstick. Day 6 at the dentist. Also, at the dentist, picked up some Wendy's breakfast. Gonna try it for the first time. I am melting into this couch you'll probably see me here uh, a lot from this point of view anyway I did go to the dentist this morning it is now 2 15 now and I was they the dentist had called me earlier in the week to s confirm my appointment and I was kind of surprised that they were still open um and I was hesitant to go um more so because I don't know, I'm Asian and it's giving me a little bit of anxiety to go out there 
and I don't know I just don't want people to think like I'm sick but nobody knows if even if you're not showing symptoms like if unless you take a test you don't know if you have it or not that's the scary part um, anyway so I went and I saw somebody go inside and so I waited till they went inside first and then I looked outside from the door and I noticed nobody was in the waiting room so I just kind of hollered at the front desk to say that I was here they, I, they had a little note up to, to do that and then I was in the waiting room and I kind of I wish I just stood up but I just sat down as far away as I could from if somebody else came in um, and then the only contact I had was with the dental hygienist. She was in all her, her protective gear, the mask, the outfit, and she reassured me that she wiped down the, the chair that I was in multiple times. And uh, me and her were just talking about how this is probably, for her, this is probably her last weekend to work for a while. Uh, she has her dad who is in hospice and her mom who is of older age. Um, so she and I were just talking about the, it's the uncertainty of it all, right? That's what, for me, not knowing is what gives me, uh, the anxiety that I'm feeling. Also that I mean, that adds a little bit to it, but just what's the world going to look like next week, two weeks, because it's changing ever so rapidly every day, tighter restrictions. Um, so that's where my head is at right now i know for the most part humans are good and we'll get through this but it's just a scary time right now so that's what i'm feeling okay so just finished um grocery shopping and i got almost everything on my list i'm trying it's there's still a lot of people but not as much for a saturday especially around this time it is 637 we're waiting we ordered food we're going to pick up some boom boom chicken and i want to share with you the things that we got at paris baguette which i was eating this is one of them but it's almost gone it's the crab meat croquette okay so not so gracefully got this multi-grain bread Steve got this chocolate croissant. Got this banana. It's an almond cream cheese, I think. Pastry. Got my sister this. No, that's for me. That's a coconut cream something. This is one for my sister, red bean. And then hot dog for my sister as well so yeah that's what's going on we're just getting fatter here hey so it's quarantine day seven so week down I don't know how many more to go I just woke up and I'm going to make French toast with this holla oh no brio sorry French brioche bread that I picked up from H Mart yesterday and we did go out to get food uh, we were dwindling down on veggies and things but I think going forward I will sorry that noise is a tea kettle I will um, probably order groceries online just because I don't know it's still crowded with people and it just I don't feel that comfortable going out anymore um, so yeah and if I sound nasally it's because my allergy is terrible these came out so good so I've set up my office to be inside this room so I'm not in the living room bothering everybody when I have to record videos for school or have a meeting for school I could just be in my room and there's this light that Steve brought from his old house that is coming in handy so that's good I am sitting in front of the mirror I have to do something about that because I can't have that it looks like I'm living in my closet so um, I have to fix that and that's a little too bright I think okay um what have I been doing I know I've been filming checking in with you guys but haven't really shown you what I've been doing 
and telling you about it. Um, so I'll try to be better about that in next week's video. We started doing the fitness marshal. It's a dance workout or Zumba as Steve likes to call it. It was so fun. I'm not going to lie. The steps, some of the steps were extremely hard. Um, but for someone like me who doesn't exercise at all to do, um, four or five songs, I very much enjoyed myself. Um, we're also doing a squat challenge where I'm losing miserably. We have a number board. We have a tally board outside in the living slash dining room and Steve's killing it. I'm going to come in a good second place, I think. <laughs> um, and then I also gave myself... Uh, well, Steve helped me as well. He trimmed my hair. I just needed to get the bulk of it off because I can't get to a hair salon. I was going to go yesterday, but then I just was like, at the dentist, I was like, this is brave enough. Or I mean, it's, this is like risking myself enough. Um, so I will save that for another time when it's a little bit safer to get my hair cut. Um, and again, with the going out for the grocery store, that... I mean, I'm so glad I was able to fill my fridge again with the stuff that I'm going to need for the next couple of weeks, but it was not fun. I probably won't do it again unless it's extremely dire and um, we have absolutely no food in the house, which is not the case. Okay, so I hope you guys are all doing as well as you can. I know this is a new um, way of life for a lot of us and it's... It only will get harder before it gets easier. Um, but for those of most of us, we're very lucky. I am very lucky to be in a, inside a home, be able to work from home. And I'm very grateful that I have that opportunity. Um, let me know what you guys have been doing during the quarantine. I've ordered puzzles. I'm, I'm starting to exercise. Um just things that I should have been doing but now that I'm home I can't the, the excuse of like uh, working uh, you can't use that anymore because while I am working it's not like a straight eight to three you know what I mean <laughs> um, yeah so this is the first week of social distancing slash quarantine vlog I, ho I truly really hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you soon Bye.